Ah, yes. Welcome back. Well, we've got her here. We've got to the uh, the Huntsman pub um, just above Home Firth. Um, it's a um, the top of the Home Firth lies in the Home Valley, doesn't it? The Home Valley. The Home Valley. H O L M E. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we're up on the top of the sides. We're on tops. On tops, and it is absolutely the weather's turned. It's lashing it down. I'm just going to take you outside so you can see the the pub we're staying in. You just bear with me if I don't get blown out. Right there we are. Just in the background there. In fact, if I turn, go behind the camera, I can show you. So there, there's the Huntsman pub. Um, it has a big function room there, and that side there, where it says the Huntsman, is the uh, the, the bar itself. So we we was going to go walking, <laughs> wasn't we, Trace? We were, but we've decided. But we decided not it's, it's not a good good idea. Go yomping across the moors when yeah. it's like this there, one thing to say though there are a lot of pheasants about as we've there is, been yeah. up here yeah um there isn't one typically there isn't one now yeah but there, there have been yeah so um we're parked in the function car park right in the corner let me just uh, show you where we are now i think normally now. this is the <laughs> overflow car park and this is where you'd park um, in normal circumstances, but they've let me park here right in the corner. Um, the ground is fairly firm, but on the edges where it's green, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit damp. There's a it's all right. pretty muddy Why patch are you there, um, not and one over there in the middle. So um, we decided uh, the landlord said we're he's quite happy for us to stay here. So we've got a, a meal booked tonight. Um, but we're just going to go in and sit by the log fire and uh, enjoy a drink, have a pint. Um, the weather <coughs> is set to, to be better tomorrow, a little bit better, so we're going to drop down into Warmfirth and do a bit of filming down there. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, we uh, had his first night out uh, off grid camping here at the Huntsman pub, uh, just on the tops above Home Firth. Um, we had a good night's uh, sleep, to be honest. Um, we had a meal in the, the pub behind us there, and had beautiful food. Highly recommend that food. Really oh, nice home cooked food, not too expensive either. Um, Tracy had liver and onions and mash and vegetables and I had a homemade cheese pie which uh, it was massive I couldn't really eat it all um, but it was very very tasty um, so we came back to the motorhome uh, watched TV for a little bit uh, and then settled down um, it's been blowing a hoolie all night um, wind and rain, it still is a little bit like that now, um, but we slept well, slept well. So we're just going to have a cup of coffee and a little bit of breakfast. Um, I'll just show you around that uh, there is one or two other vans here that stayed the night here at the Huntsman. There is a little bit of noise from the road, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, you just get used to it. And that's the main road. Um, I think it's this 635, uh, which down that way goes to down into Home Firth. And that way is uh, over onto the tops. Uh, you can get around to Castle Hill and then down to Huddersfield, down that way. So I'm gonna go in and have a bit of breakfast and a coffee and we're going to take you down to Home Firth later on. Hi. 
right, just leaving the Huntsman pub now. We're going to turn left and go down to uh, Home Fair. Look at that view. Yeah. Over the Holden Valley. Yep. Henley Moor in the distance there. There is Henley Moor last. Yeah. Much nicer day than it was yesterday, that's for sure. Yeah, well, we couldn't look around and see any of this uh, scenery yesterday. No, it was grey and it was um, very rainy, wasn't it? Yeah. There's lots of walking um, uh, paths around here. It's a better day for walking today. It is, yeah. Yeah, so Home Firth is about two miles it is. down this hill. Now, approaching ahead, the Ford Inn, that is also in the Brickstocks book for an overnight stay. And food is supposed to be really good there, so that might be another one um, to try another time when we're up this way. I think at the top looks reasonably flat. Oh, there is a, there's a big... site you know that could do i bet you can walk all along yeah. here right and if you can get down here you can further along right okay let's go have a look so we've got parked up in in home firth a little car park just by the co-op um just there um it is a council car park but as you can see um you'd need a small motor home it's not advisable for big motor homes so we're going to have a walk into Home Firth. And, beautiful uh, morning. It is a beautiful morning compared to what it was yesterday. Proper spring-like it yeah, feels, doesn't yeah. it? But that's what it's like around here, isn't it? One minute... Mm. Uh, you can get down to the footpath just down okay. there. Um, let's just have a little look. Oh, there's lots of rats down here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a sign like that before. Come on, this way. Let's have a little look where it takes us. It's telling you not to feed the wildlife because that's what's encouraging rats. the rats and yeah. picking up your dog poo, which obviously we always do anyway, as do any other responsible dog owners. Mm. That's a pretty bench. Yeah. girl. That building there, Trace. Yeah. That used to be uh, Lodge's supermarket. It did. I, would, I could have told you that. Yeah. Well, I've just told you that. But I already knew it. Yeah. I went to I went to school with Jamie Lodge. He was in my year at school. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you don't know who opened Lodge's supermarket. Harold Wilson. 
No. Um, Someone far more important. The Queen. No, not as important as the Queen. Um, Princess Anne. No. The Prime Minister I'll of the you. time. I'll Go tell on, tell you. me, tell me. I'll tell you. There's Tony Blackburn. No way. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Up the hill. And then the co-op, the co-op bought it. Right. If I can tell you, that building there used to be Bamford's, um, that, that was the postcard place. All right. Just there, that big building so, there. So, what about Bamford's? Well, they used to print the saucy postcards that people used to buy at the seaside back in the day. Yeah. No longer... It's another, thing, it's another thing Elm Firth's famous for, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, that's where it used to be. Yeah. So There's we're just going to take a little walk down here. I think we um, are. If my memory serves me right... Come on. We've got one of the... Uh, little famous cafe. Mm -hmm. Which was an actual location for um, the cafe in the last of the summer wine. It was. Let's have a look what this is all about, eh? So this structure, this stone was erected in 1801 to commemorate the short piece called the piece of Amiens. Have I said that right? Amiens. Yeah. Yeah. The piece of Amiens. The, That's in France, isn't it? Yeah. The height of the flood caused by the bursting of the Bilberry Reservoir, February 5th, 1852, whereby 81 lives were lost. That's Agreed. the marker of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just see over there. Look. Height of the flood by the bursting of the Bilberry Reservoir. There's a, there are, 1801. There are lots and lots of reservoirs in this area. If we hills, just yeah. stop for a moment, Kev, and look across the... No, I want you to film that. That's the picture drone across there, obviously. It's now a venue for... Um, it's a music event. They have quite a lot throughout the year. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I always wondered where that was. I've heard of it as a, a music uh, venue. Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute. We'll just go across. That iron monger's there. I bet you can buy anything in there. That iron monger's has been there since I was a little girl. Yeah. Just for anyone that doesn't know, I did grow up in this region. Not here, not the home first. And this is what... What was the cafe in Last of the Small Sid's Cafe. Sid's Cafe, yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty much we can't go in because it's uh, busy. There's another reference just on the side wall of this baker's uh, shop um, of the uh, bursting of the Bilberry Reservoir, 5th of February 1852, and the little marker just below the date there shows the height of the flood. That must be about eight foot. It's got to be eight foot, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But look at this uh, little baker's this shop here. How amazing. 
Yeah. Look at all them artisan breads. Yeah. Oh. We've often get some bread before we yeah, eat, but... I think so, yeah. When you look through, you can see them got the pasture and all that. Yeah. In Australia. So, we just crossed over from Sid's Cafe, come back over to the picture drove and uh, we're just going to have a look at uh, the back of the picture drove. So to give you an idea of what sort of uh, entertainment they get on here, they seem to get a lot of uh, tribute bands, um, oh. and you've got Tapal there, um, Limehouse Lizzie, who I guess are a, yeah. a thin oh. Lizzie tribute. Chameleons. Oh, Brutus Gold Love Train. Yeah. Oh. Heather Small. Heather Small, yeah. Foreigner's Journey. Yeah. Ultimate Coldplay. Craig Charles, Punk and Soul. Lots. Yeah, so you got a mix, haven't you, of, um, of a, real, a real, real yeah. artist and uh, tribute artist. Peter Book and the Light are on. Right, so we're in Victoria Street. Um, just looking at some of the, yeah, looking at some of the shops up here. There's loads of uh, artisan shops. It's a nice little bakery here. Look at those scones at the back. Yeah, these uh, multicoloured cakes here. Some focaccia bread that looks delicious. It does. Yeah. They're not short and nice bread shops in Home Perth, that's for sure. They're not. <laughs> They're certainly not. Oh yeah, so the the little paintings line. and things like that. Yeah. And there's a photograph of uh, Sid's Cafe where we've just been. Yorkshire flag. Oh, we need a new Yorkshire flag. That just reminded me. <laughs> Have you seen that? Bloke from Barnes, like with piles, asks chemist, now nah, then lad, does I sell arse cream? Chemist replies, aye, magnum or cornetto. <laughs> <laughs> just come across this little um, um, community garden, the Home Firth Community Garden. Seem to have got all sorts of stuff growing in, in here in them uh, growing uh, circles over there. And loads of herbs, I can recognise that, some sage. And a bit of, is that parsley or coriander? I think it's coriander, isn't it? Smells like cat pee, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'd uh, come up to uh, Ashley Jackson artist shop. It's a local artist, does a lot of uh, paintings locally. Um, that's one of his paintings, a print of one of his paintings showing uh, Castle Hill in the distance there. Worth noting that all his pictures are locally. Um, yeah. Local, of yeah. local area, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah. Have a look around the front. And there he is, the man himself. So we're just behind the uh, wrinkled stocking tea room. Uh, and we think this is uh, the lo location as so to where uh, Nora Batty lived. Well, it says stay in Nora Batty's, Batty's cottage. cottage. So that's the yeah. next door one. On the end there, yeah. yeah. I seem to remember these uh, steps and compo getting swept out. Getting it round the head. Yeah. There is a. I hope that best come in and see compo's house and summer, summer wine exhibition than right. ours. Um, yeah. Dogs are welcome in there. Yeah. 
I always wondered where this was. No, if you go up the steps, there's a, a plaque up there. Yeah. If you want to go up and have a look, shall we have a look? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go over nosy. Find this lovable road. This Lived is the one this, yeah. yeah. Lived at this address, 1973 to 1999. Um, this one is Nora's. And this one Nora's cottage. Which is now a, a cottage you can stay at. Yeah. Quite nice. It's worth mentioning that virtually all the cafes and shops in Home Firth are dog friendly. Um, we've seen loads of them. I, actually they are, aren't they? Yeah, I've never they seen do. so many places. Uh, the only place, like sometimes when you're in the Dales, a lot of places are, but um, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's good to know really because yeah. a lot of places are that. Right, so know. from uh, Nora Batty's and Compo's house, we're just going to turn right and go over the bridge. Um, and look at some of these uh, more artisan shops and bars. There's still evidence of the cobbled street there. Yeah. From times gone by. Yeah. So Homefirth um, came about from a, a, um, a corn mill um, and a river. That's how it started its life. And uh, the first church was built in the uh, 1400s. Yeah, so 300 years uh, later on, um, Onferth grew even more um, with the uh, birth of the cloth trade, which uh, Uddersfield and the surrounding areas are famous for and also the stone and slate from local quarries. Wow, look at that. How beautiful they all are. Yeah. And a little workshop. And a little chocolate box yeah. shop. There's a few of Quite a few in there, yeah. There's still lots of these cobblestones. Yeah. yeah. These are it's nice to see. When you look at these buildings, they're obviously very old. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to work it out. Oh. Um, okay, yeah. This is. Uh, yeah, and I think it's showing you kind of the oh, contours. You are here. We are there. Victoria Square. And the main Huddersfield Road there running along there. Victoria Street, which is just behind us. And I think these uh, stone things here, they depict the hills. The, the, yeah, the hills around. The around. Area. Yeah. It is a very hilly area. Yeah. All the different places. Yeah. Oh look, here's Bilberry Reservoir, the one that burst its bank. Yeah. Next to the Diggly Next Reservoir. to the Diggly one, yeah. And you've got Home Loss up here. 
Yeah. We're coming down the valley along to where we are at home first. Upper Thong. Yeah, carrying further thong. along then. Thongs Bridge. I like the thongs in Huddersfield, do Oh, aye. <laughs> right along through Honley and Magdale. Yeah. Like going back in time for you, isn't it, Trace? Oh, yes. When we were when you a little girl. <laughs> right, Trace is going over into that uh, artisan bakery to get uh, some bread. That's when she's finished climbing up on this uh, this little uh, map thing to take a photograph. Right. Well, that was our little uh, walk around Home Firth. Yeah. On the well, um, Oh, I've turned Uddersfield, said lovely. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> um, a really nice town to come and visit, lots of nice places, um, lots of nice cafes, shops. <laughs>